Good morning. Something. <laughs> Guten Morgen. Magenten Umaga. Konnichiwa. <clears throat> Bonjour. It's morning here. <laughs> the yuck off of my eye. Um, I wanted to read something. Um, it was placed in my heart to um, do what I'm doing right now and that's just showing others, you know, sharing my testimony and showing others that you know, regardless of what's happening in the world, the insanity, the craziness, <clears throat> you know, um, everything being so chaotic as it is, and people are getting so emotionally devoured and getting sucked into the madness and getting overcome by the darkness and allowing it to shake them, allowing it to stir up, you know, things inside them that if you're truly walking with the Lord Jesus Christ, you are at peace about all of it, absolutely all of it. Um, your yoke is light when you know the truth, when you know the truth. So I wanted to share um, a couple of scriptures with you and I'm doing these videos because I want to be a voice of reason even though um, my voice isn't, um, it's not like heard by a lot of people, you know, out of the chaos and my dog drinking water <laughs> that there are going to be few of us that are still um, calm about it all, still um, have a sound mind, still have our crown, okay? We're holding fast to our crown, our mind. So in 1 John chapter 4, I'm going to start with verse 4. It says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us, he that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we are the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So when you, real, when you truly, truly understand his word and you understand the truth and you understand that um, those that are not of God the Lord cannot hear you. It doesn't matter how well you explain it or how many times you explain it or, you know, how patient you are about going over things over and over again or continuously loving them and trying to be there for others. The truth is they cannot hear you. Okay, I've explained this many times, but I'll say it in this video again. You are speaking in tongues. It's not baby garble babble. Okay, it is you are speaking the truth in a world that's full of lies in a world that's full of merchants, merchants who are buying lies and selling lies, and you're no longer a merchant in this world, okay? We are continuing our walk. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. And because we're speaking 
um, truth and we're not following along with the world's narrative because the enemy, the Antichrist spirit, is repeating lies over and over and over again. That's how they make the spell stronger. The hypnosis, the programming, however you want to word it. People are under a spell. And when they hear something over and over again, they start to believe that it's true, especially if many people are repeating the same thing. Well, it must be true because everyone is saying the same thing. That's their logic. That's their worldly wisdom. That's foolishness to the Lord because it doesn't matter how many times you repeat a lie, doesn't make it the truth. Okay? So then you have someone like me who has his Holy Spirit who comes along and rejects the narrative. And I'm not under the spell. I'm not indoctrinated in lies anymore. The Lord has set me free of the darkness by bringing me into the light, the light of truth, by giving me His Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. So when I speak truth, someone who's still under the spell just can't comprehend. Now, see, this is why it's really important to understand the spiritual warfare, the spiritual aspect of this. Ephesians 6, 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but higher principalities. So other people are being influenced by higher principalities and so they're not only on the outside hearing the lies, okay? The spiritual aspect is the Antichrist spirit is whispering into their hearts and in their mind and lying to them, saying that they have it right. Um, you know, this is the truth. Whatever, you know, so-and-so is saying is not the truth, that um, they're crazy, um, they're whatever lie the Antichrist spirit is trying to convince, you know, and it's very convincing because that's the spiritual warfare that's inside them. That's the, that's the self-cannibalization, that's the war that's happening that if there's any bit of light and reason in someone, the darkness is, is overcoming that and, and overpowering that by someone's emotions. Emotions is very um, powerful because once you get someone angry, they're blinded to everything else. They can't hear anything, they can't see anything. They're just, their anger is their focus. And a lot of times they don't even know what they're angry about. It's just that they're, they're feeling angry, they're, they hyper-focus on that feeling, and reason is out the door. It's, it's nowhere to be found. And I know this because I've had a lot of moments throughout my entire life where when I was mad at somebody, that's the, that's the one and only thing that was important is my feelings and how I felt about the situation. Had nothing to do with sense and reason, logic, none of that. <clears throat> it was about, I'm mad, I'm mad at you, and that's it. <laughs> so... The wonderful thing about walking with Christ is you don't get angry, okay? Now, if you do while you're walking with Christ, that's a spiritual attack upon you. And if you can recognize it, cast it away from you. That's the Antichrist spirit. You cast that away from you. 
in the name of the Lord, and Satan will flee from you because you have authority to cast out demons, demonic thoughts, spirits, entities, darkness, away from your vessel. Okay, you have that authority. And Satan, the Antichrist spirit, wants you to be ignorant of that. Because he only has power over you if you allow that anger to be more important than logic and more important than reason and more important than love. That's the only way he has power over you. So if you can acknowledge who the enemy is and what the enemy's trying to do, and you see, like, I see you, I see what's happening here, and you take control of your vessel, your body, your mind, holding fast to your crown, and in the name of the Lord, you cast it away from you. I've heard people say, well, that's easier said than done. That also is the Antichrist spirit, you know, trying to make you lack faith that it's not easy to do. That's another lie. Because again, your yoke is light. The Lord promised that. Your yoke is light when you're abiding in Christ, when you're truly with him, when you have his Holy Spirit, when you have the light, the truth shall set you free. The truth. If you know the truth, Satan can't lie to you to say, it's easier said than done. That's a lie. It's easy when you're with Christ. It really is. It's peaceful when you're in Christ. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is Christ in you than the Antichrist spirit. You need to believe that. You need to have faith in that. And it's the truth. It's the truth. So I'm doing this video to hopefully plant a good seed that my, vi my videos now are going to be about you know, trying to show you that not everyone's lost their crown. Okay, there are still people out there, not many, that know the truth, can recognize the enemy, and show you what it looks like to walk in that peace to know, to know the truth. Not just say I know the truth, to show you that there is peace in all the chaos. Not everyone is losing their crown, their mind. Okay? I love you and God bless.